Welcome to the Capstone Project course in the Mobile Cloud Computing with Android specialization, which is the first Capstone course offered on the Coursera platform. On behalf of Professors Porter and White, I'd like to congratulate you on successfully completing all three content area MOOCs with distinction and joining us in this final session. Over the next eight weeks, you'll apply the Android and cloud programming skills you learned in the specialization to build a mobile cloud computing application from the ground up. To provide you with a range of options, while also ensuring there's sufficient structure to facilitate effective assessment, we've created multiple project specifications designed to evaluate your mastery of the technologies covered in the three earlier MOOCs in the specialization. You'll select one project to implement and will receive assessments at the midpoint and end of the course by your Capstone student peers. At the end of the Capstone, you'll have the opportunity to publicize your projects and prizes will be awarded to the best projects. In the remainder of this introductory video, I'll first discuss requirements that are common across all the projects. Each of us will then give a short overview of one Capstone project specification. Thanks again for participating in the Capstone experience. We look forward to interacting with you on the discussion forums. All capstone project specifications share certain requirements that must be implemented by leveraging one or more technologies covered in the earlier three content area MOOCs. For example, applications must support multiple users and should leverage spring-based services running remotely in the cloud. Likewise, project implementations must comprise at least one instance of at least two of the fundamental Android components, such as activities, services, broadcast receivers, and content providers. Moreover, applications must support at least one operation that's performed off the user interface thread, in one or more background threads, or in a thread pool. Applications must also allow users to navigate between at least three different user interface screens. Naturally, each project also defines requirements that are specific to the specification. You'll need to meet all these requirements by considering various design and implementation issues and selecting between different solution alternatives to produce your final project submission. We've intentionally underspecified these projects, so they just outline the application's intended behavior while leaving substantial room for individual creativity. Therefore, as long as you fulfill the requirements specified by the project rubrics, you're free to add extra features or enhance the core specifications as you see fit. One of the project specifications available for students in the Capstone Project course is an application called Potlatch, which is a word meaning to give away and is a gift-giving feast practiced by the indigenous peoples of the Pacific Northwest coast of Canada and the United States. If you see a sunset you just can't keep to yourself, a landscape that takes your breath away, or an image that touches you personally, then snap a picture on your mobile device, add some text or poetry to convey your thoughts, and upload it to the cloud with a potlatch application. This application will enable you and others to capture, upload, store, query, and retrieve GIFs consisting of images and accompanying text. Users can indicate they were touched by a gift, and the Potlatch application can display information about top gift givers whose gifts have touched the most users. Likewise, users can create gift chains, which are a thread of one or more related gifts. If you choose to implement the Potlatch project, you'll need to devise solutions to a number of technical issues, such as determining how gifts are stored to and retrieved from a Spring service in the cloud, how the application will handle periodic updates from the cloud service, and what information, if any, will be cached in the local device. The Potlatch project combines technologies from all three earlier content area MOOCs, so you'll not only be able to demonstrate your mastery of these topics, you'll also create a mobile cloud computing application you can share with your friends. Hi. I'm Professor Adam Porter of the University of Maryland, 
and I'd like to take a minute or two to introduce you to another potential capstone project inspired by our colleagues at Amazon. Do you really like movies? Do you have a knack for solving puzzles? Do you like games? Well, then test your movie trivia knowledge and puzzle solving abilities with the Mutabo app, a game in which you're shown four movie titles and then asked to identify which one movie from the group of four is not like the others. For example, in this mock-up of a Mutibo app, the user is being shown the following four movie titles, Hackers, War Games, Tron, and Snow White. And the user might select any one of these titles uh, to be the one that doesn't belong. Now, after making their guess, the user hits the submit button and the game tells them whether or not their guess is correct and provides some text explaining the purported link between the three related movies. And notice also that at the top, the score has now changed from zero out of zero to one out of one because the user made a correct guess. And the final app should also let you rate each set of movies so that obscure, illogical, or downright incorrect sets of movies can be identified and removed from the game's database. And more advanced students can also add bonus features, such as allowing users to challenge friends to a Mutibo duel, to ask friends for help when they get stuck, to vary the difficulty of proposed movie sets, and more. And since this app is sponsored by Amazon, there will also be a chance to win some prizes for those students who choose to use some Amazon-specific APIs. And we'll have more details on this as the course progresses. The symptom management specification was developed through a partnership with Vanderbilt University's Medical Center. The idea behind this app is to help improve the quality of the treatment that patients receive and help them to manage their pain and communicate with their doctor when they have head and neck cancers and are undergoing radiation treatment. So if you're a patient with a head and neck cancer, typically you'll go and see your doctor maybe once or twice a week, maybe more, but you will go in and see your doctor and you'll tell them about how you're feeling, how the, the treatments, the radiation is impacting your health. And one of the problems that the doctors are, are worried about is that the radiation and other treatments that you receive if you are a head or neck cancer patient is that those treatments can cause extreme pain in your throat and in your mouth. And over time, many patients between doctor's visits they will have their pain become so intense that they will stop eating or drinking. And so what will happen is, you know, from one week to the next when a patient is going to see their doctor, the pain will become so intense that they'll stop eating or drinking. And so the next time they go to see their doctor, they'll end up having to get a feeding tube inserted in order to provide them the nourishment they may need even though they're in extreme pain with their head and, and their throat. So, what doctors want to be able to do is to be able to avert these situations where patients are in so much pain that they end up stop eating and drinking and need a feeding tube. Doctors want to have a more continual conversation with the patient and understand their pain and how they're taking their medications. But right now, it's just not possible to do that. Doctors only see patients on a periodic basis. The idea behind this app is to create that bridge uh, for communication between the doctor and the patient. So through this app, what a doctor can do is they can list information about the medications and other data relevant to that patient and a series of prompts that should be given to the patient on a periodic basis each day to help follow up with their treatment and understand if they're taking their medications and understand the level of pain that they're seeing. So this data can then be pushed down to their phone. And on a periodic basis, the phone will wake up, alarm, and ask the patient, how are you doing from a pain perspective? Have you taken each of these medications that you need to be taken? And based on the feedback from that, the doctor can then be alerted whenever something is happening that is a significant change in that patient's um, you know, pain or if they've stopped taking medications. And that way the patient, the doctor can reach out to that patient before there's a problem. So the spec for the symptom management application is to build the system. Obviously this is going to be a spring-based application. 
with separate users for doctors and for each one of the patients that's undergoing treatment. You'll need to be able to separate, separate out the data that they can see. For example, doctors need to be able to see the data for all of their patients, whereas an individual patient may only need to see their particular data. Maybe there's nothing else that they need to see. Obviously, all of this needs to be secured over HTTPS so that patient data can't be stolen. And all of it will need to be continuously synchronized so that the patient and the doctor are aware of what's going on and can do the things that are going to help improve the treatment for that patient and help improve their quality of life while they're going through that treatment. So I hope you're as excited about this spec as we are. We think it's a really fantastic spec that could potentially help a lot of people that are undergoing head and neck um, cancer treatments. And so your app may be something that you can go in and contribute to the, the body of, of, of software that's helping doctors, or maybe it's just something you do because you're interested in the problem. But fantastic spec of a real-world problem, and we hope that you enjoy the challenge of tackling it.